This is a natural dietary supplement extract from tropical sorghum biocolor, researched, refined and confirmed as a powerful antioxidant. It will increase your blood to required levels and boost your immune system rapidly. Jobeline improves the fertility rate in both men and women. Jobeline protects and provides energy for mother and child all through pregnancy and at childbirth. Jobeline purifies your blood. It deters and effectively controls shows chronic heart diseases and blood related conditions daily intake of jobeline protects the body from infections and guarantees a healthy and happy family jobeline has no known adverse effect produced by health forever products limited dikwa olu street of obafemi aulowawe ikeja lagos nigeria available in sachets and capsules for adults and syrup for children in all leading pharmaceuticals nationwide consult your physician for prescription 30 capsule jobeline now comes in a new park. Live healthy, live Jubilee. It is acknowledged that Jubilee is perhaps the most researched herbal medicament in Nigeria, and this has contributed to its acceptability. It is also known the research work for Jobelin is an ongoing exercise. Sir, could you give us some key research activities which you have subjected Jobelin to? Research studies on Jobelin started at a private hospital at Ojota in the year 1997. After, after convincing a young medical doctor about the efficacy of Jobelin, he first of all tried it on himself. When he used it, he reported back that he noticed several things, favorable conditions after using Jobelin. The first one was that it was diuretic, that is, it enabled him to be able to urinate freely and properly. Two, that it gave him a lot of energy. Three, that it gave him a lot of room for relaxation, gave him appetite as well. So I encouraged him that we should do some more formal clinical studies. And so he decided to test Jubilin for anemia on 20 patients. Now these 20 patients were tested on Jubilin for two weeks. Their blood level was low, very, very low pulses volume or hemoglobin. The very first one of them was a small child of three years whose hemoglobin was less than three. As a matter of fact, this type of, this kind of patient should be transfused with blood. But the mother of that child didn't have money for blood transfusion. So this young doctor decided to try the bleeding on her. And Within three weeks of administering Jubilin on this young uh, girl, the hemoglobin rose from about 3 to 10.5. The doctor thereafter tried Jubilin on very many other patients, up to about 20. And he found out that within a period of two weeks, the hemoglobin was rising by at least about 30 to 80 percent. After he satisfied himself with the limited clinical studies, he now suggested that we should do empirical studies. This one took us to College of Medicine, University of Lagos, where they did animal studies. They inoculated rats with trypanosoma which after a few days caused the blood level to become very, very low. And thereafter, they administered Jubilin on them. And within two weeks, all the rats that had the treatment had their blood recovered. Of course, they had the control, two controls. One batch was not treated and was not inoculated with the trypanosoma. Another batch was inoculated but was not treated. The batch that was inoculated and not treated 
All the rats in that batch died. But those that were inoculated and treated, all of them survived. This experiment was replicated at the University of Benin. And coincidentally, both reports, both research studies concluded that globulin has the potential to be a substitute for blood transfusion. The two research studies were published in the African Journal of Biotechnology of September 2003. Another major study that we carried out was at the military hospital Ekoji. This was carried uh, out with people living with HIV AIDS. 64 of them were divided into three groups. One group was treated with jubilin alone, those with high CD4 count. Those with medium CD4 count were treated with jubilin and antiretroviral drugs. And those with low CD4 count were treated with antiretroviral alone. And the, 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 the studies took a period of about three months. And the conclusion at the end of that study was that globulin increased substantially the CD4 count of people living with HIV AIDS, either used alone or used in combination with antiretroviral. We didn't stop here. We also went ahead to carry out commission studies for uh, the potency of globulin in the treatment of anti-inflammatory diseases. These research studies were carried out in Germany as well as in the USA. And we found that globulin is a potent product for anti-inflammation. And you know anti-inflammation is implicated in many diseases in cancer, diabetes, stroke, hypertension, Parkinson's disease, all of them. So in which case, this also confirms to us the efficacy of jubilin in many disease conditions. And we also found out, confirmed, that jubilin has a lot of antioxidant properties and it is one of the most powerful natural antioxidants. As a matter of fact, antioxidants are measured as analog, that is as units of vitamin E. Jubilin has been concluded to be more than 3,000 3, times more powerful than vitamin E. Jubilin is being advertised as a relevant alternative for the management of many diseases, including hypertension, diabetes, arthritis, stroke, heart problems, sickle cell anemia, cancer, and even HIV AIDS. But some scientists and orthodox medical practitioners have frowned at this declaration that one medicinal product is a cure-all. Otumba Okubena must have provided acceptable evidence which usage in the last 12 years must have universally corroborated. Otumba, it will be interesting to recount your experience. Recent research studies have confirmed that free radicals are the um, real causes of many of the diseases in the body. And the remedy for free radicals, that is, what, what uh, neutralizes the free radical are what you call the antioxidants. Uh, Jobelin has been certified by Brunswick Lab of the USA as the most powerful natural antioxidant. And as a result, when you take Jobelin, it neutralizes the free radicals. And the free radicals, when they have been neutralized, then the, their power is withdrawn, and you can then reverse the course of diseases, and then maintain general well-being and you know wellness overall. So, once the free radicals have been dealt with, then diseases that arise out of inflammatory conditions such as stroke, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, hypertension, even HIV is will then have to be mitigated, I mean, will, 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 will not have the power again 
to continue to worry the body system. And that is how, why Jubilin appears to be curing all. Jubilin does not definitely go to attack any disease. It only takes care of the free radicals because it is an antioxidant. Again, as uh, uh, anti for anti-inflammation, we have carried out research studies too in Germany as well as in the USA to confirm through what you call the anti-cyclooxygenase uh, acids. Uh, this have conclusively, conclusively proved that globulin has anti-inflammatory properties. And as a result, it is able to take care of most of the very severe and serious diseases in the human body system. Thank <laughs> you.